such a hurry. The paved track. I want to see all the work they've done setting up for the qualifiers for the great truck games. Did you forget you were going to help me put away the supplies in the diner? I didn't forget. I was just hoping you'd let me see the cool stunt gear first. <laughs> Tell you what, champ. If you don't take too long, why don't you go have a look, then help me afterward? Red Hot Turbochargers! Thanks! Ugh. Your gears don't sound so good. Have you done your maintenance yet? Do I have to? It's so boring. Chuck, you gotta keep your gears and circuits in good shape so you can be fast and strong. Come on, Porter. While Chuck does that, we can get a head start on cleaning up the diner. Guess I better get this over with. <laughs> This is going to take forever. I wish there was a faster way. Only a few laps left. Better make a quick pit stop. Guys, I need some maintenance, but I don't have much time. Gotta get back on the track if I wanna win. We'll have you across that finish line in no time. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're the fastest pit crew in the whole world. Go get him, partner. Yay, Team Chuck! Oops. <sighs> Without a pit crew, this will take forever. Besides, my gear shift, okay? Well, maybe they could use some maintenance, but will one more day really matter? Hi, Semi Steve. Hey, Chuck. The half pipe's finished if you want to try it out. Awesome! Whoa, buddy. Sounds like you could use a little maintenance. Right. Maintenance. Sure. Nothing keeps a truck feeling better. In fact, I'm off to have a little work done myself before I haul this crane away. Come on, Chuck. This is so fun! Well, have a good time, Chuck. But don't push those gears too hard. I won't. Hey, Chuck, something wrong with your engine? I think my gears are just a little stiff. It's nothing. Reckon you ought to be on the half pipe? Your insides sound louder in a gas tank full of lug nuts. I'll be fine. Watch this. I did it. Now I just need to turn around. Whoa! Ah! Better work on your landing, Chuck. Why are you going backwards? No reason. I can go forwards, no problem. Watch! 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 Why don't you just stay there and let me have a look? What's wrong with him, Handy? He's so low on transmission fluid that his gears won't shift. You mean I'm stuck in reverse? Chuck? <gasps> Chuck? There you are, champ. I could really use your help at the diner. Thank goodness you're here, Mr. Chuck's dad. You've got to help us. Er, no, Handy. I'm going to help him to clean up the diner. Huh? I'll be right there, Dad. Okay, see you in a minute. I don't get it, Chuck. Why didn't you tell him? Because I was supposed to do my maintenance this morning, but I was so excited to get to the racetrack that I skipped it. And now if Dad finds out I'm stuck in reverse, I'll be in big trouble. You're not going to tell him? 
I'll just help him now, and we'll figure out how to fix me later. He won't even have to find out. Well, pop my tires and call me flat. It sure is busy. Is there anything better than a nice round of maintenance, boys? Yeah. <laughs> I think I can do this, but will you guys stick around to make sure nothing goes wrong? Sure we will, Chuck. Uh-oh. Here comes your dad. If he sees you guys here, he might realize something's wrong. You better hide. Good, you're here. Can you move those bumpers out of the way? No problem. He's got him. This is actually sort of fun. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. Chuck's in trouble. Look, Andy. My first job for Dad is finished. And I did the whole thing in reverse. Yeah, you sure did. That was close, Chuck. Yeah, you may not be so lucky next time. Maybe you ought to tell your dad about your gear problem. Come on, guys. It worked out fine. With your help, I can do everything Dad wants. Bumpers up. Bumpers, Bumpers up. up. Sure couldn't have done it without you guys. We're just glad it's over, Chuck. Yeah, and if you ever get stuck in reverse again, you're telling your dad right away instead of dragging us into it. Deal. Now come on, let's get back to the half pipe. Now you're talking. Hold on a second, Chuck. There's just one more thing. Can you put these new bumpers back on the shelf for me? I've got to go to the repair center to help <gasps> your mother. Oh, uh, sure thing, Dad. My friends are already gone. Guess I'm on my own this time. Well, so far so good. Slow and steady, and I'll be just fine. What's going on? Well, it's time this old crane and I hit the road. Look out! talk about that later. But right now, we need to stop that crane. And we need your help, Chuck. We need everybody's help. Sure. You got it. Anything. I better go evacuate the diner so nobody gets hurt. I'm gonna try to get past that claw so I can shut the crane off. Maybe we can help stop the claw so Dad can get to the controls easier. I wonder if we can use our half-pipe jumps to solve the problem. Biggs and I used the crates to block the crane. Now all we have to do is stop the claw so Dad can reach the controls. And we can use these here ropes to lasso the claw. All right, everyone, let's stop that claw. Nice work, everyone. Mom, Dad, I'm really sorry. If I had listened to you in the first place, none of this would have happened. And 
And then I was so worried about you being mad at me that I made things worse by hiding my stuck gears. We're proud you told us the truth, Chuck, even if it took a little longer than it should have. And I'm sorry I put you guys through all that stuff, too. Well, you still need to make up for your mistake. You can start by cleaning up the mess you caused in the diner. No problem. I'll do it right away. After I do my maintenance. <laughs> Give me a mountain to climb and watch me do it. Yeah. Any day, any time, you know I'm up to it. I got what it takes to come through. Cause there's nothing I can't do. Gonna make all my dreams come true. Cause there's nothing I can't do. truck ever made. Our truck's going to zoom so fast over this ramp, it will fly over Boomer, and who knows how far. Well, everybody, Chuck claims he's built the world's fastest toy truck. Today, we'll see if it's true. Wait now, what's this, folks? A jetpack. Oh, hold on to your fenders, folks. Here we go! Unbelievable! Ladies and gentle trucks, you are looking at the world's fastest toy truck. Wow! I can't wait to see how far it goes. Ready and go! Um, did you say it was going to go over me or in front of me? I wonder why it didn't go faster. Cute ride, dudes. Cute? Our truck's not cute. It's a super awesome racing machine. Hi, I'm Chuck. Who are you? Spinner's the name. You know, because I spin. My mom's getting a tune-up, so I just need a place to hang out. I see you put up a ramp for jumping your model truck. Want to see a real model truck take that jump? See? Whoa! That was fast! Guess an engine really helps. You just can't get that kind of speed from your homemade truck. Yeah? Well, we're not done building ours. Once we are, it'll race faster and jump farther, even without an engine. Hmm. How about a jump off? and whichever truck jumps farther wins and gets to keep that awesome hood ornament. I'm not sure that we will do it. Meet us back here at 4 o'clock. You got it. See you at 4. Why did you do that? That truck didn't seem very nice, and we might end up giving him our cool hood ornament. Hold on, Boomer. If Flip says we can do it, then he must have a plan. Right, Flip? Um... I was kind of hoping one of you guys would have a plan. Our truck can't beat a truck with an engine. It's impossible. Well, we couldn't just let that show off win. What do you think, Chuck? Is it really impossible? Nothing's impossible. First, we need to figure out the reasons why our truck is going slow. Once we know those, we can think of ways to make it go faster. And I know an expert on speed who can help us for sure. Rally's home in between races. Don't blink or you'll miss him. Either something's wrong with my blinkers or Rally's going slow. 
My speed reader agrees with you. It shows me how fast Rally's going. When his wheels bounce off the ground, they aren't pushing him forward as much, so he goes slower. Hmm, the ground was bumpy at the parts yard, too. And our model truck was also bouncing around a lot. Mom, we're trying to make our model truck go faster, and it might be having the same problem as Rally. What are you going to do to help Rally go faster? Well, what Rally really needs are new shock absorbers. That's the part that keeps your wheels from bouncing too much on a bumpy road. I know! Let's give our truck shock absorbers! <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't make them that small. Power and pickup. We may not be able to give our truck shock absorbers, but we can get rid of the bumps another way by smoothing out the ground. That could work. Great idea. Not a bad start. Here, take my speed reader. It'll help you clock your truck's speed. I'm off to install Rally's new shock absorbers. Thanks, Mom. Let's see if our truck goes faster. Red Hot Turbochargers! It is faster! It's speedy, all right. Maybe we can win this thing. Or maybe we're gonna lose our hood ornament. We can't give up yet. Think, think. Ah! I can't think with all that squeaking. Maybe if I... Nope. This side doesn't like the squeaking either. Hmm, that squeak may be telling us something. Let's see if Rally knows what it's saying. Hey, Rally, can you tell us what the squeaking sound is? Sure, that squeaking means there's friction. What's friction? Friction is when two things rub against each other. It sounds like the truck's axle, the part the wheels are attached to, is rubbing against something. Luckily, you can get rid of friction by putting something slippery between the things rubbing together. Let me show you. Try and bring me that heavy fender. Not so easy, right? But if you had something slippery under the fender... I know something slippery. We got rid of a lot of the friction. And you made a mess. Sorry, Mom. We were just figuring out how to make our toy truck go faster. We need to put mud on the axles to make it slippery in there. I have a better idea. Use this oil to grease the truck's axle instead. Thanks, Mom. I guess oil is what you usually use for trucks. Now let's see if our model truck has more vroom than squeak. The truck's going faster without the friction. Uh-oh. When the truck pushed against the spring and the shock absorber, the spring stored up some energy inside. Then used that energy to push your truck. Better go get it. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Rally. We'll catch it now. I always go faster down hills. The problem is the toy truck's going faster, too. It is going faster. That gives me an idea. Come on. Since things fall faster when they're up high, like on a hill, maybe this downhill ramp will make our truck go faster. It's getting great speed just from going downhill. And with no bumps on the track, it's going even faster. Without friction on the axles, it should sail right over Boomer. I'm pretty sure it didn't. Why isn't it fast enough? We've tried everything. Maybe it's just not possible to beat a truck bought in a store. Sorry I got us into this, guys. Hey, guys, look how fast I can race with my new shock absorbers. Look how bouncy they are. Power and pickups! Rally, what did Mom do with your old shocks? Well, I guess she was going to throw them out. Where'd he go? Guess your dump truck friend realized a homemade truck just can't be at a store bought one. Spitter? But it's not four o'clock yet. He'll be back. Okay, but if he's not, 
I win that hood ornament. Four o'clock. Looks like that hood ornament is mine. Not yet, Spinner. Guys, remember how the Spring and Rally shock absorber made our trucks zoom out of the repair center? Rally said the spring stored up energy when it was pushed in, then used that energy to push our truck out the door. Exactly. Maybe it can do the same on our track. We'll see about that. It's not over yet, guys. Maybe, just maybe, this will give our truck enough of a push to get over Boomer. Ready, set, go! Whoa! Once you know a few things about speed. I'm really sorry I made fun of your homemade truck. I guess I was showing off before. Hey, Spinner, wait. I bet we could help you make your truck go faster, too. You would do that? Of course. Sure. No problem. Then we can have another jump off. This time, whoever wins gets... Live. What? I was just going to say whoever wins gets a nice round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> together. <sighs> Too bad I'm not a real prince. The drawbridge would always work perfectly. Wow, imagine what that would be like. Hear ye, hear ye. I, Prince Chuck, now declare that all freeway ramps are loop-de-loops with jumps at the end. <laughs> Prince would be awesome. We're gonna see a real prince today. My mom said Prince Piston is only driving past the truck stop today, but that if we're lucky, he'll wave to us. He's here! Vamanos! Let's go! Prince Piston looked exactly like our friend Shock. Hmm, maybe a little bit. Huh? Just a little problem with your exhaust system, Mr. Scoop and Bottom. I'll take it out and have it fixed in no time. Thank goodness. Prince Piston has a big event tonight, <laughs> the annual ball at the Southern Garage Castle. Exactly like me. And you look precisely like me. I'm Prince Piston. I'm Chuck. Nice to meet you. Want to have some fun with my friends? Thank you, Chuck. You're it. Well, you tagged me, yes. But you didn't tag me, 
Chuck? But how can you be there if you're over there? Huh? <laughs> Guys, I'd like you to meet Prince Piston. Prince Piston, this is Digger and Boomer. Hola, your majesty. Um, would you maybe like to play tag with us? That would be most fun. We don't play many games at the palace. Most of the time, I race by myself around my golden racetrack. But I must take care not to go too fast, or I'll leave scuff marks. Palace? Golden racetrack? Wow! <laughs> it sounds nice, but it can be boring sometimes. I think it might be more fun to play tag like you fellows. Prince Piston, where did you go? I guess you need to go back. I have a better idea. How would you like to trade places for a while? There, see? We look so much alike that nobody will know. And then we can switch back before I need to leave. Just be careful not to get too dirty. <laughs> I'll try. Prince Piston, did you meet Chuck and his friends? <laughs> yes, Mom. I mean, ma'am. Very nice fellows indeed. I've removed Mr. Scoopinbottom's exhaust system, but he can drive around without it while I make the repairs. Feel free to roll around treadwheels and make yourselves at home. A splendid idea. Come along, Prince Piston. We can make the most of this little pit stop. Prince Piston, what are you doing? <laughs> this is so cool. <clears throat> Mr. Scoopinbottom, I would like to wave to my royal subjects. Take me out so I can parade in front of the diner. Very well, Your Highness. <laughs> <sighs> that race was ever so much fun. But this time around, I order you that I will win. Um, Prince Piston? Uh, that's not how we play. We're friends. With friends, no one is the boss. Is that okay, Your Majesty? Okay? It's fantastic. I love not having to give orders. What shall we do next? Uh, how about if we show Prince Piston our clubhouse? Yeah! Excellent idea! <laughs> Yahoo! Hello, royal subjects! Look at me! Hello, Treadwell! <laughs> Prince Piston, what has gotten into you? I've never seen you act this strangely. Prince Piston, the construction guys and I want to present you with a gift. Golden pogo springers. I'm going to try them right now. No. <laughs> that would be unroyal. As you know, we will display this gift like all gifts at home inside the castle. The prince thanks you, sir. <laughs> this is <laughs> What's this? Oh, uh, we were playing Royal Castle this morning. But I'm sure it's nothing like your castle, Prince Piston. Not at all. This one is much more fun. And what a delightful drawbridge. Well, it would be if we could figure out how to get it to work. Luckily, I know a thing or two about drawbridges. We have an excellent one in my palace. Well, thank you. I feel much better. Come along, Prince Piston. We must be going. Going? But I... I haven't said goodbye to my new friends. No time. Come now. Off we go. But it would be very unroyal to leave without saying goodbye. Wait. Goodness. Where did he go? I'll help you find them. Drawbridge stays up perfectly. You figured it out, amigo. Amigo? What does that mean? Amigo means friend. Friend? Nobody has ever called me friend before. <gasps> oh, lo siento. Sorry, your majesty. No, Digger. I am honored to be called a friend. Thank you, amigo. <laughs> Guys, it's time for Prince Piston to leave. We have to switch back. But I don't want to go yet. Oh no! We can't get 
up there. Prince Piston, I've been looking all over for you. It's time to go. You don't understand. I'm not the prince. I'm... Wait a second. I'm the prince, right? Of course, but I fail to see how... And as the prince, I order you to give me my golden pogo springers. Prince Piston! It's me! You've got to come down! Must I, Chuck? Maybe you could stay being the prince, and I could be you. I don't think so. Although it was fun being prince, parading around on Scoop and Bottom's turning flatbed, meeting all kinds of trucks, and everyone being nice to me. Hmm. Sometimes I forget the good things about being a prince, but there are many good things about being a regular truck, too. Playing in the mud and having friends around. We both have nice things about our lives and also things we wish were different. But in the end, I like just being me. <laughs> what exactly is going on here, Prince Piston? Actually, I'm Chuck. He's Prince Piston. Sorry we fooled you like that. We just wanted to see what it was like to switch places. Prince Piston has gotten all muddy. How is he going to look for his royal appearance tonight? We'll help him clean up, Mr. Scoop and Bottom. It was just a game. And I'll bet they had fun finding out what the other one's life is like. I'm sorry, Mr. Scoop and Bottom. I just wanted to be like Chuck for a little while. I don't usually get to play with trucks my age. Perhaps I've been too hard on you. You're a young truck and all youngsters need to play. Even if that means getting dirty sometimes. <laughs> I guess I did. Ah! Wait, is that you, Mixer Mike? <laughs> guess I'm a little dirty, huh? Well, maybe a little. A little? You'd never see my beautiful buffed bumpers looking like that. You're filthy, with a capital... Uh, what letter does filthy start with? F, and you're right. I've been working non-stop for days. So I bet you can guess where I'm headed next. The truck wash. Wow. I hear they've got these new auto polishers that can make a truck shinier than he's ever been. Even if he's already very, very shiny. Soko and I have never been allowed to go. My mom says it's only for grown-up trucks. It must be amazing. I can just imagine it. <laughs> Wash would be awesome. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, be seeing you, boys. Morning, Holly. Mom, so cool I want to go to the truck wash. Will you take us, please? Chuck, we've talked about this before. When you're grown up enough for the truck wash, I'll take you. But we're plenty grown up, right, Soku? Sure are. Wait, I mean. <laughs> 
You boys will have to trust me on this. The truck wash is full of very expensive and delicate equipment. We'll be careful, please. It's not just that. There are very powerful hoses and buffers. It would be very easy for a young truck to get nudged off the track and into all kinds of trouble. We won't, I promise. Chuck, I know you'd try, but look, we can talk about it more later. But right now, I have to get these new air sprayers installed in the repair shop, okay? How can she say we're not grown up enough? Everybody's always saying how much we've grown. <gasps> Power and pickup. Maybe we just need to show her. That'd be great. But how? Well, grown-ups work so hard that they get really dirty, right? So if we get as dirty as grown-up trucks do, then my mom will have to see we're grown up enough to go through the truck wash. You sure there isn't a cleaner way we could show her how grown up we are? Just think how clean you'll be after we get back from the truck wash. I'm too busy thinking about how dirty I have to get first. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Yeah! <laughs> I can't do this! <laughs> Lucky I just installed these awesome gizmomatic axle suspension extensions. I guess it isn't so bad getting mud all over my chrome. My cool, crystal clear coated chrome. It's all d d dirty. Really, really dirty. And so am I. Now all we have to do is show my mom. And she's gotta let us go to the truck wash. Okay, but let's hurry. Watch out! <laughs> Whew. One splash from that puddle, and we would have lost most of our mud. I think we already did. Oh no! Our mud! We really made a mess. That's okay. We'll clean it up later. The important thing is, we can't lose any more mud, or we won't be able to go to the truck. Wash! Oh no! Now we're even cleaner than we were before we started. I know. I mean, uh, I know. I'm sorry, Soku. I thought I could get us dirty enough, but I guess I can't. I guess we'll just have to stay clean. But I know someone who can. So that's why we came to you. You're the filthiest truck we know, Rowdy. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks. So you'll help us? Well, it's a dirty job, which means I'm just a truck to do it. That's great. I know you'll do whatever it takes to get us completely gunky. Well, sure. That's what friends are for, right? Right. Bumpers up. Friends, friends for the, the long haul. haul. Wanna get slimy, gross and grimy? How about sticky, sloppy and icky? Need some ways to get dirty? Call me, cause I know dirty. When it comes to getting muddy, no one's better than me. You're a mess, won't impress. I'm a mess, you can make it with Rowdy's the best. Want some muck? Rowdy's your truck. Ew, yuck. When the ink splattered was what mattered, they called me and I was flattered. I'm the greatest cop there ever was at covering trucks in gunky fun. a truck made out of dirt after it crashed into another truck made out of even dirtier dirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. So what do you think, Rowdy? Are we as dirty as the dirtiest grown-up truck? Well, the dirtiest grown-up I know is my Uncle Scrubs after a long day of sweeping streets. <laughs> and you look as dirty as him, but you don't smell as dirty. You mean I scuffed my perfect polish for nothing? This stinks. No, it doesn't. But it will. Rowdy, you gotta help us get stinky. Fast. You guys came to the expert messer-upper, and I'm not gonna let you down. Just a little of this. And a little 
couple of that, and some of this, and... Ah, spray a dab of this behind your axles, and the smell will flatten the steamroller. Come on, could it really be that? Whoa! Wow, you weren't kidding. But how are we going to get it on us? I have the perfect idea. Are you sure about this, Chuck? Of course. With my mom's new sprayers, you can spray both me and Soku at the same time. Did your mom say we could use them? Well, she never said we couldn't. But we don't know how they work. Then we'll just figure it out. That's what grown-ups do. It's working! Ew! Wow! It's getting all over the place! We can clean it up later. Just make sure you get a little more on us, too. Ah! Oh, no! Whoa! Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Those customers! I didn't mean for them to get sick, too. Chuck! Chuck this thing off! You're spinning too fast! <laughs> What's going on here? Are these my new sprayers? Chuck, is that you? Mom, I'm really sorry. I know this doesn't look good. Or smell too good either. But I promise, we'll clean out your sprayers and make them as good as new. And what about all the mud I saw splattered from here to the dirt track? We were gonna clean that up too. And the mess in the repair shop. There's a mess in the repair shop? We were gonna clean it all up. We just got so busy trying to show how grown up we are. I am so sorry. I will find a way to make this up to all of you. Wait, I'm the one who should apologize. It's my fault. I just wanted my mom to see exactly how grown up I am. And I think she did. And it's definitely not grown up enough for the truck wash. But that doesn't mean I'm not grown up enough to know we did a bunch of things we shouldn't have. And that we need to clean them up right now. I have to say, I'm impressed with how well you boys cleaned up Treadwells and yourselves. It wasn't too hard. Once we cleaned out your new sprayers, the rest didn't take very long. Yeah, after our baths, I tidied up the repair shop while Chuck cleaned up out here. And I shined my wheels, and then I shimmied the shine, and then I touched up my outer coat, and my undercoat, and my middle coat. There's only one more thing I have to clean. Look! Yeah, the whole thing all over again. <laughs> 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 